Hey, out there in YouTube land. Back at you again with my old Voyagers. This time, we're going to look at the old Voyagers. I don't have the exact specs on these, because I don't have a catalog that's this old. But that's the Va Vaquero Grande. The X2, I think they call it, in length. It's very long. It's about 13 and a half inches long, if I remember right. Tell you exactly. Seven inch handle. Blade is about five and three quarters. So it's about 12 and 3 quarters, just a little bit under 13 inches. Very nice knife. And these can be flicked open very easily. Because when you have that longer, when you have that longer blade in a manual folder, it's easier to flick them open. Now, I don't know how thick the blade is exactly. I'd say about 3.8 millimeter, three in between three and a half to maybe four millimeter. Fairly thick. Zytel scales, all these have Zytel scales. This one, I'm not sure if it has VG1. It doesn't say it's not marked VG1, so I'm, I'm gonna assume it's Oz8. Serrated edges. These are only knives I have that are serrated edges. And I have one fixed blade that has a serrated edge, a, a Tonto Coban from Cold Steel. Don't really care for serrated edges. And this, this is a non-serrated edge Boy blade or clip blade. I think this is the prettiest one ever made. This is a VG1 Voyager. Made in Japan. All these are made in Japan. Zytel handles. You can't adjust the pivots or the screws. You can't take them apart. Very nice. All these knives are pretty much mint. I think only one of them I've ever carried. I'll take it back. I think I've carried the Tonto and the, and the, the Bowie one once or twice. And this is a Tonto one. Made in Japan. Just like the Bowie. Very nice. Look at the blade on that. The Tonto blade on that is like beautiful. I like the shape of it. These are five inch blades, six inch handles. About 11 inches in total length. Let me measure just to make sure I'm right. No one be giving you bad information. Yep, 11 inches. Five inch blade. 6 inch handle. Yep, that's exactly what it is. This, to me, this is a perfect size for self defense because it's intimidating. It's big enough to be intimidating, but it's not so big that it's bulky in your pocket. These are all very lightweight. That's what made these so popular is the, is the weight of them. A lot of people today still like these over the new models because of the weight. This is another VG1. I'll tell you about it. this, is not the VG1. This one's the VG1, another VG1. And the Vaquero, serrated edge, fully serrated. That's the way these came. Made in Japan. That's 11 incher. And this one's kind of unique because it doesn't have a pocket clip, right? It came. This one comes with a nylon pouch. I have the nylon pouch, it's in the safe. But somebody was asking me about these on the cold steel form. I just want to show it to him. That's what they look like. It's just like the one he has on Cold Steel. So the one he thought the one he had might have been a knockoff, but I don't think they ever knocked off these. I'm not sure. I've never seen any. The ones that they knock off mainly are the new tie lights. The smaller versions. These are very nice. The blade on this one's a little bit different than the newer model. This is this one I think is older than this one if I remember right. And you can see the blade width is different. The width on this one's narrower than this one. This one's wider. And the checkering on the handle is different. That's another way you can tell. This one is like my X2. 
This is an older Model X too. They probably both were came out around the same period. I think these are late 90s, early 2000s knives. I'm not sure. These ones right here with this type of checkering were some of the last ones were made. These were like before the these were the models that came out before the um, the new model came out with the triad lock. That's why I bought all these. When they came out with the tryout lock, these were all getting out, phased out, and people were selling these real cheap. That's why I bought these. This one right here, I've carried. I used to use it for fishing. See that the handle's a little bit, the, the thing's a little bit worn down. This is Vaquero Ombre. Made in Japan. Vaquero Ombre. Anyway, these are my old Vaqueros. I hope you like them. This one's a 9 inch knife, or around 9 inches, if not exactly 9 inches. Very pocket friendly size. ED, this is why I call it EDC knife. A 9 inch knife is pretty much an EDC knife for me. I like 5 inch handles, 4 inch blades. That's the best one for EDC for me. The big ones are called special occasion knives. Or special occasion blades, SOBs. Not son of a bitch. The special occasion blades. That means when you think, think you're going in some place dangerous or you, you feel a little bit threatened about where you might be going or you don't know what's going to be happening where you're going to be going, that's when you carry a SOB blade. <laughs> Very nice. Hope you enjoy. Those are my old school Voyagers. That's all of them. Stiletto out. Peace.